I've lived here for eight years and I've been detecting, no longer than eight years, I've been detecting for six years and since 2008 I have never hunted this area. And I don't know why I haven't because look at this, check this out. Here we go, right there on the sidewall. Well, me and Army Man got a couple of permissions here. We got a couple of rent houses that we're doing. And uh, so we got a chance to come out this morning. Weather's perfect. And we're gonna see what we can find. I'm hunting with my AT, I mean my uh, Equinox. But I also put on the small coil. These yards are pretty trashy and I needed something to get in there. So we're gonna try out what this Equinox can do and all this trash. There's Army Man right over there. So uh, when we get something, I'll turn the camera on, definitely show you. So let's go get at it. Army man is giving me the signal to come over, see what we got. Hopefully it's gonna be something good, not a clad quarter or a zinc penny or something like that. Let's see what he's Just got. Just for that you have to find it. Just for that I have to find it. Oh, there it is right there. Got a mercury dime. How about that? That'll work. That'll work. Let's clean it up and see what it is. Yeah, uh, there it is, folks. Mercury dime. Can't read the date on that yet. This uh, iron ore dirt has stained it. But anyway, silver. We'll lay it down right there. We fist bump on silver. All right, let's keep going. Well, I just got my first target. Well, my first target was a piece of trash. But my second target is going to be a good target. It's ringing up on my Equinox as a 21 to a 22. Pretty solid. Let me uh, spin you around. It's right there. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to be a silver ring. How about that? Silver ring. Let me clean it up and I'll get my other camera and we'll get a close-up of it. Well, I got it all cleaned up now, and uh, it is a very nice little sterling. It says sterling in there. I don't know if you can, if I got it upside down or right side up, I'm not sure. Can't read, see it. But anyway, that's my first find with the Equinox 6 inch coil. My first good find is a silver ring. All right, I'll take that. Woohoo, let's keep on going. I had a 22 and I hit it with my shovel, I guess. But y'all know what that is? That's an old 19, probably 60s or 50s lipstick case. Brass lipstick case. Probably still has a lipstick in it. I'll try to open it later, hit the wrap up. All right, let's keep going. Well, we moved on from that last location and uh, it's actually been about two weeks since then and uh, I just really haven't had a ch chance to go out and do any type of hunting. I haven't had a chance to do any research. I've been busy, I had a, a grandchild born. I had some things at my church Easter weekend. Uh, I put on the last, sorry about the noise, I live right here beside the road. And uh, put on the Texas uh, Treasure Show. I'm the president of the Texas Association of Metal Detecting Clubs. And we had a three day weekend and we just got through with that. And then as soon as I get back, it's church. And this is the first time I've got a chance to get out and do a little bit of hunting. But like I said, I haven't had a chance to do any permissions or anything like that. So what I thought I would do was just come back out here to my church grounds and I'll do some cut over to uh, my church. My church is kind of old. It was built in 1910. This building over here was, uh, the original building was built back in 1920s, I believe and uh, it's been remodeled and everything since then. But we have a lot of ground and I've hunted a little bit. Let me show you what I've got. I cut over to that video right now of the church grounds. Let me show you that right quick. What you're looking at is a picture of the church grounds where I serve as pastor. And where the blue dot is, is the house, the parsonage that I live in, which was built in the 1950s. And uh, there was a house that was actually here before then and it, it dated back into the, uh, I think, 30s or 40s. And right over here, there used to be some student uh, teacher housing over here, and they're gone. And used to be an old 
I believe a post office on this corner right here. And I've hunted this area and this area, and I've hunted my front yard and my backyard where I found a 50 caliber bullet. And um, where all the silver is going to be is out here in the parking lot, but we can't get that because it's covered. And we've since repaved over this, and we've repaved, we put a new parking lot in here in the back. And before we did though, right there at the edge of that concrete and grass, I found a 1963 Franklin half dollar. And, but there's one area in our church property that I have never hunted, and it's right here. This is the area that we call our prayer garden, and here's a back lot right here. You can see it's right there in the middle of a neighborhood. And I'm going to go out this morning for a couple of hours, and I'm going to search this back lot. It's probably 100 feet long, maybe 50 feet wide, and uh, this is probably about 40 by 40 in here. So a lot of ground there to cover. Uh, don't know what we're going to get. Uh, the last silver I got was in the 60s, so I'm assuming maybe... 40s, 50s, 60s in here if there are any. So let's go out there. Let's see what we can find. Now, as you saw up in that little video, here's one vacant lot right here. And this is where the student housing used to be, the student teachers, I mean, and right over here. And so I found lots of wheat pennies out here. Used to be a post office right over there. And found lots of wheat pennies right over there. And found some stuff here in my, in my yard. And then right here in the backyard, there was an old garage or something. This house was built in the 50s, and there was one here that was before then. And I found my first 50 caliber bullet right back here where this shop used to be. Now, I've hunted all of this. Now, let me take you around to the other side. Forgive me of any wind. It's fixing to come a storm here today. Lots of rain here lately. But here's the front yard. Now, I have never found silver in my front yard, but I have found right here by the sidewalk, a uh, Sunday school pen from the 1950s. And so as we come back this way, <clears throat> as you saw on the map and I said earlier, all the silver is in that parking lot. And I wish I could dig it up, but we just put this down two years ago. For 60 years, they parked in the grass out here. So you know it's loaded with silver for 60 years and uh, all grass but anyway can't get to that so we come back here to the back and two years ago we put this back parking lot in and right here right here right where my foot is i found that 1963 franklin half dollar and I found lots of change over there. Haven't found any silver, but lots of change. But there's one area that I have not detected. And that's back over here in our prayer garden area. So I thought since I don't have a lot of time, I don't have a lot of places to go, we'll see what we can get right here. Check this out. It's a... Uh, nice place back in here there's an old building right there used to be one right beside it we tore down and then as we go through this prayer garden area it opens up back here check this out to a vacant lot right here in the neighborhood where all the kids have played and so my thinking is there's some silver in here and uh, that's what we're going to go for so let's get suited up and let's get at it now my weapon in my arsenal today is going to be my equinox 800 so i'm going to be using it and then i've got a new shovel that i want to show you this is a, a shovel that is built by a friend of mine. It's about 30, 31 inches tall. And uh, it's got a, a good strength to it. It's got a good design to it. Big foot pegs right there. Got some good teeth on it. Good welds. And it's light. It's got the T-handle with the ends on it. Not only do they build that shovel, 
they also build the diggers and his name is Cody Murray and he was in featured in one of my videos called Silver Spill uh, a couple of videos back and he's in the business now of making these if you are interested in any of this just uh, leave me a comment and I'll get you connected with him but he gave me these two sets here to put them to the test this is his second design I believe his first prototype he gave me and I told him it was heavy and too much of an angle on the blade and he made the modifications and and it looks really good and so I'm excited about using this today and see how it works out all right let's get to digging some silver I'm gonna be hunting with my Equinox I'm just gonna be in park one and uh, regular just default settings here so let's get at it okay here's my third target I've dug up two pieces of junk so far two pieces of brass but I don't know if you can see from the glare. Let me get out of here, get off the glare here. Maybe we can get a, where'd it go? There it is. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-three. All right, let's go see what that is. It's gonna be right there. Stickers back here. Shovel feels real good. Ah, looky there. Looky there. Looky there. You see that? That's what I was hoping for. I've never dug out here, but that looks like a silver quarter. Right there. How deep was that? Not very deep. Maybe three or four inches. Oh, it's coming out clean back here. 19, uh-oh. 19, 1961. 1961. All right. Well, I was hoping that would be the case. Maybe that's, that's going to be a good sign here. Let's keep on going. All right, it's been a few minutes since my last target. I dug a few more junk targets out of here. A lot of trash in here. But I'm getting a little squeaker here. The 27, 30, 34, that's like a 37, it's like two different targets, one right here, and one right there. All right, let's go get them. Plugs are just not holding together back here. It's a little very sandy. Very sandy dirt. Alright, that's gotta be it right, right there. Oh, I, <clears throat> I see it right there. Y'all see it? It's gonna be a dime. I don't know if it's silver yet. It looks silver. Yep, it's gonna be a. I don't know what that's gonna be. 19, maybe 1958. All oh, the mosquitoes are horrible out here. They're all over my camera. 1958. Let's keep moving on. All right, that's two silvers. That's a good day already. I can stop right now. All right, let's keep going. Right there. Who would ever thought this? 
I've lived here for eight years and I've been detecting, no longer than eight years, I've been detecting for six years and since 2008, I've lived here nine years, I have never hunted this area. And I don't know why I haven't because look at this, check this out. Here we go, right there on the sidewall, on edge, another, another dime. I'll take a, a rosy any day. Uh, 60, 62, 1962 Rosie. I'll take that all day long. All right, let's keep going. The weather's starting to come in on me. I dug that uh, piece of uh, brass out, put my plug back down, and I was getting that 31, 28, 29, 31 jump around. That 28, 29 must have been that brass, and when I put my plug back down, went back over it, I was getting another faint tone, and and I turned around, dug it back out, and look at here. Gosh, this is, this is unbelievable. All this time, right here underneath my nose, I've been going everywhere to dig silver. And right here in my own church background, backyard. A 1960, uh, 60, I think, I can't read that. It's got, let's see, let me wipe it hard. Rub the rosies, okay. A 64 or 60, I don't know, maybe a baby. Wow, I don't even, that's one, two, that's my, what, my fourth silver already? This is unbelievable. Let's keep going. I moved on from inside there at the prayer garden and I'm back out here now. I'm gonna hit this back lot. I got four silvers off of that one area in there and look at this. See if I can find it. There it is. Thirty-five to a thirty-eight. Let's go down there and get this together. Let's live dig this. Live dig this one. All right. Let's get set up here. Ah, look at there. They're not very deep in this clay on this side. I must have just missed it or brought it up or something. Sitting on the sides. The 1954. 1954 quarter. All right, that's the second quarter out of here. First one on this side. So let's keep going. All right, I got another good signal here. Found the quarter right over there and dug that uh, water faucet top, whatever that was, right over there. And then right here, I have another. Not ringing up as high, but it's still a good, good tone. Let's go get it together. Right beside that root. Doesn't sound too deep. Let's see if I can live dig it. Oh yeah, there we go. Sounded like a silver. Yep, that's what it's going to be. 1952. Everything in here is 1950s and 1960s. Which is probably what I figured. Alright, man. I don't know. I've lost count of how many silvers that is. I think that's five. One, two, three, four. This is five. This is number six then, isn't it? Wow, unbelievable day. Right here in my backyard. Who would have thought? I never thought about coming back here and detecting. Alright, let's keep going. Thought I had another silver here, but it's just going to be a a dog tag, rabies tag. Copper Owen, eight twenty one oh nine. All right, let's keep going. It's been a while since I found another coin. I've just been searching still 
back out here in this lot. A lot of trash. This was a field. This is where we did a burn pile. A lot of field dirt was in here. And lots and lots of trash in here. Lots of aluminum cans. But I did get a real iffy signal, like a like a 20. And it wasn't even a good tone. But I just barely dug this little hole right here. Look at this. Popped it up. I see a silver rim right there. And that didn't even sound like a dime. And it is silver. 60, 64, it's just a baby. Wow. Just to show you, they don't always sound like dimes, like a good uh, 27, 28, 30. This was just a, a 20. Sounded more like a zinc penny or something. But again, there's a lot of trash down in this ground, so that's probably why. All right, I'll take it. I'm just about ready to quit. I'm getting more out. Ready for water season. All right, let's keep going a little bit longer. All right, I finished up out here today. As you can see behind me, well, they're starting to come in just a little bit. We got a chance to rain today, tomorrow, and Friday. And so I was going to try to get a little bit in here at the church. And uh, and, and the, that back lot really paid off. Uh, I never thought it would. I've never dug but one silver out of here. But I know this church dates back. and and uh, but, but the Equinox is kind of picking through that iron and trash and uh, picking out a few targets. And I uh, had a pretty good morning. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. From that house that me and Army Man did at the beginning of the video. And then what was out here in this back lot. You can see there's a lot of trash right there. All right, here's my car lot. Got a man, van, race car, two race cars, and some type, some type of pickup. Here's my kitchen. I got a spoon bowl and uh, two bent-up forks. I got a dog tag. I got three different keys and an old lipstick case, probably 50s or 60s. I got three marbles. I always like digging those marbles. And I got one quarter, four dimes, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 53, 53 pennies. I got seven wheat pennies, and I don't even, I didn't even look at the date. I really don't know what the date is on those. But I've got five rosies. That's a good day. I'll take a rosie. It's not old. It's not barbers. It's not seeded. It's uh, just rosies, but I'll take them. It's silver. And I got a 54 and a 61 quarter. And then over at that other house, I got this uh, 925 uh, silver ring. One other thing, I did hunt this morning with my friend's stuff that he's been making. And uh, this little digger right here is very sturdy. Boy, it cuts right through the dirt. You can pry down on it. It's got a good, solid rubber handle on to it. I really like it. It's not too heavy. It doesn't weigh my bag down too much. I really enjoy that. But I have to honestly say, I do like the shovel. It, it dug through the roots and dug through the dirt. I like the big, wide uh, foot pa uh, pads it has on it right there. And it's light. I don't know how much it weighs, but it actually is pretty light. And it's just the right height for me. It comes up to about my waist, right above my, about where my belt is. And, uh, but I'm a big guy. I think if anything, I would put just a little bit bigger handle, maybe the same size of tubing that is on this pipe here, the, the shaft, I could make on the handle. But that's just for me, for the average size hand. That would probably be the perfect size right there. But uh, I could probably use it just a little bit bigger. These are heat treated, so they're very sturdy. They're not going to bend and warp on you. And I pried down on them pretty hard. And so by heat treating those uh, handles and uh, blades, uh, they're going to be very firm, very sturdy. Uh, I definitely will give my thumbs up approval on this. It's good. I'll put the link in the description below. If you want one, give them a call. Pretty good day. Pretty good uh, couple of hunts, two of them. And, uh, but there's all the trash. Here's all the treasures. As I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find and put on the back of your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until next time, God bless and happy hunting.